All right, what's up everybody? Hope you all are doing well. So partially by request and partially by my intentions and my plans, I purchased Lego City Set number 60407, the double decker sightseeing bus. 384 pieces, retails 30 US dollars at the Lego store and in most official retailers. And just by looking at the box, you can see what a nice, neat little vehicle this is. Uh, there are one, two, three, four adult minifigs and one baby fig in the set and a pretty interesting assortment of pieces. This will be a fun build and I will explain how this actually inspired the design of one of my in-progress mocks. So without further ado, I'll unbox this and show you guys in various speeds the build process. So the set came out summer of 2024, June 1st. I got this rather late in the game. Here's your instruction booklet. There is a dreaded sticker sheet here and what looks like three submodels. So most of the build will be time lapse to in order to help with the pacing of this video. However, there are certain things in bag one that I want to emphasize in real time and that I will be happy to explain because what's neat is that something that happens in bag one or at the very beginning of the build does go beyond the scope of this set. So that's one of the things I really like about the design of the set is that as you can see, all the parts here are really multi-use system pieces. You don't see any juniorization, especially at the bottom floor. You just see rank and file plates and bricks. The largest piece in the set is a six by eight plate, which is pretty neat. Now, typically in a city set from like 2007, 2010, etc., you have these giant bases with pins already attached or giant bases with little slots where you can insert these pin pieces but here it's a little bit different now I will assemble the three or two minifigs that come with this bag first and explain something else that I like about this is that all these minifigs have different torso designs these are not torsos that I'm very familiar with in like earlier sets so the bus driver appears to have a relatively new torso in sand blue and he has a microphone so he's announcing all the Tour stops. They have a nice stroller, which I've never had before for the babies. I think this is my first ever baby fig. How adorable. A little smile here. And this um, cart the stroller is uh, included in the set in Dark Azure. Let's mount the handle to the cart, wherever that is, if I can find it, <laughs> and the wheels, of course. And there is a female minifig, assumed to be the mother of the child, or aunt, or whomever. I don't think I've ever had this torso before. It comes in, looks like three shades of blue, aqua, and coral, as well as what appears to be maybe neon. No, they just have regular yellow. It just faded a little bit in the ink. And a hair piece, which I believe I have this hair piece before. I don't think it's a brand spanking new hair piece. So that's one already huge plus that I see with the set is the inclusion of new minifig designs, which beats a monotony that I thought existed between like the 2000s and 2010s. And now this brings me to my next point, the chassis of the bus. So we're here building the axles, so to say, without an actual axle, but I digress with these loose frictionless pins. I believe it's going to be one of these. 
you can see the bracket going across and the yellow 2x4 plate above it. And this is where my main point lies. So you see we have a 4x6 plate, 1x4 plate times 2 here. And this goes on the side. And then you have an 8x6 and a pair of 1x8 plates on the other side. And I think it's an identical design for the other axle. Should be at least. And the 4x6, 1x4 pair here to round out the front. So, this is just for this set. I have actually designed a Miami Dade Transit uh, CNG bus that will be compressed natural gas their Excelsior model that has been used prominently in the system since 2018. Using this technique, except the dimensions are going to be a little bit different, and I believe one of these is more brick built with fewer and smaller pieces. So that's your starting point, but then you got to actually secure the base here. So we have four mudguards, which are a design that is seen very often in Speed Champions, and I believe that has something to do with the designer that was involved with the set and other city sets. I heard it is a Speed Champions designer. So it is nice, more sporty mud guards, which actually look very prototypical on city buses. Miami's buses, I would say, have a very similar shape on their mud guards. Those go in, and then these brackets go in to further secure the build here. And this feels exactly like the interior of a bus. You're going up and down on these steps, but these steps are gentle like this. And you really know that you're going above the rear truck when you're going to the rear of the bus. I believe in the front of the bus, maybe what happens is that there are seats and it's like there's kind of a place like a footrest that's a little higher and it's like you can see that there's like a little hump, but it's not really something that really impedes the walking path. But definitely in the rear, it's like it's elevated. That's no doubt about it. And that was another kind of light bulb going off in the head that led me to design the CNG bus. So right up to here is pretty much your starting point for any metropolitan, airport shuttle, city bus, modern bus, etc. The rest is completely up to you. And at this point, I'm going to stop the one-to-one -one recording, go time lapse, and finish this nice bus. correction the things that I stated earlier about this set. I lied about the largest piece also it's actually a 6x10 plate there are two of them that are mounted on the roof but still under that premise I still like the fact that this set is not juniorized it's perfect system built actually I got to enjoy some elements that I don't have many of especially new ones that I will talk about when I go into some of the details of the set. Overall, it's a neat model. It looks very tall, I will say. I'm quite shocked how tall it came out. Uh, but when you have a six brick high clearance for the minifigs in the lower deck, you could kind of expect that because now you're looking at a model that goes up about 11, 12 bricks tall. G-Flug Greater Florida Lego Users Group has railroad standards that clear 
uh, 14 bricks above the base plate. So this would actually be pushing the clearance on a Lego train layout in our club. However, with the advent of eight wide and larger trains, we can say that we might end up having to rethink that because this 14 brick train clearance is built for older trains from like the 1990s. And this is in no way, shape or form anything like a set from the 1990s. So let's go into the details of some of the play and design features of this set. So it's a bus and you're not gonna be doing much playing as far as this bus is concerned. It breaks up into two floors. You can put the driver here with the microphone talking. You can have the driver position there while talking and driving like so, hopefully hands-free driving. The minifig either talking on the phone, using his phone, or filming out the window on top. This clip is designed to actually hold the stroller in place, if I can get it to go in place. So that it goes on the rear door. Very slippery plastic right now. Like so, pretty clutch there. I'll put the mom close to the baby so that she has a good eye on the baby and hopefully nothing undesirable happens. So the lady will go here. And this minifigure will go on the top pretty randomly with the camera pointed outwards for a good view. And I do rave that in the third sub-model, you find that there are, again, another pair of minifigs with very unique torso designs I've never seen before and headpieces I've never seen before. So I thought that was pretty cool. So ground floor, um, very basic. Again, this is not like a commissary. This is just a tour bus. So people just sit there. There are no amenities, just sitting and looking out the window. But what's neat is that the rear engine hatch, or really the battery hatch, opens and it reveals an electric battery here. So it's an electric powered bus. And for more fun fact, for more Lego culture, this is actually the Octane logo, but converted and adapted to an EV lifestyle. Another Lego reference is that this is an Exoforce robot that actually reappears in a summer 2024 set. So pretty cool nod. And blast from the past there, and I wouldn't really call it the past because that's when I was really starting to get into Lego. So 2006, when I really started picking up sets with a more serious eye. So it's like that stuff is still new to me, it's still very fresh. Um, otherwise, cosmetically, pretty cool. Lots of snot techniques used to create this. But what I really like is that while you have this separation of the color, Designer was clever enough to use the one by one Technic brick and Technic pins as a way to fake having like a brick interlocking over the two. So this allows this to remain sturdy without having to ruin the color formation going on here. So you have, they're not touching here, but in this layer, let's say it's a one by one Technic brick, Technic pin, one by one Technic brick, this part interlocks. So it is much sturdier and it's pretty much like this until the top where you just have a solid band of yellow and you're able to connect that again. And neat use of the geometry here with the curved slope and the inverse arch. Of course, they were made to complement each other. And on the top here, the use of the four by six wedge plate and the cheese wedge is almost seamless. Up front, you have another setup of, ooh, I, Butcher just a little bit. <laughs> this is all upside down, but that's okay. Let me fix this real quick. You have a roll sign up front using pure snot technique, and actually a technique that I've seen used 25 years ago in the Lego train set. So the one by one quadruple Erling, or like the snot brick that has studs on every single side, rotating around a loose non friction pin. I've seen this technique used before in the Lego train station and the nine volt railway express from 1999. So it's pretty cool unintentional callback to that time. Here they use it to support a rotating call sign, which consists of entirely printed tiles reading downtown museum, park or Harbor. So it's just going to give everybody the generic city destination that they're going to and more nice snot work here and the continued use of this snot here and snot there to 
cancel out the snot to unsnot it, which in turn makes the model more sturdy. So they use that and also create a nice slant pattern using the new one by two wedge tiles, which I do talk about on this channel in another video and the two by two wedge cutout corner pieces located here. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. Um, the use of red and black and yellow, very standard and very similar to the city bus that I see in Miami that gives city tours around South Beach and Wynwood. That is one of the uh, reasons I did get this set is to have something like that available for some upcoming Lego City displays where I will depict some scenes from urban Miami. And other than that, just more double snot or snot unsnot here as I call it, where the studs go out and back up. Use of the new four by one by one and two thirds curve slope, which I also talk about on this channel in my circle tutorial from much earlier in the year. So need to see the newer elements making their rounds in the set. And it creates kind of like a bat shaped design on the top, but it's pretty cool. I like the arch choices here. But yeah, designers did a nice job. Um, my only criticism is that it's a little bit too tall for my taste, but what can you do? I mean, that's the height clearance that you do have to live with in a bus like this and in Lego City sets like this. This would also technically fit mini dolls in that respect too, which are quite taller than minifigs. But very nice set, very nice value, and I especially appreciate the minifigs and some of the unique parts that are in this set. Not to mention the parts that are supplied in the set, as well as just the design technique that you learn while doing the set, serve as a great base if you wish to do a metropolitan city bus, low floor coach, etc. You literally just have everything set up for you in the bottom and even customizable and expandable because they only use system plates. So that's a neat, neat starting point for custom LEGO City vehicles. So I hope you have enjoyed this neat little speed build and review of this cool Lego City tour bus, a set that is an excellent addition for your Lego City, especially if it is a touristic one. And it is a great value, 384 pieces for $30, so well under 10 cents a piece, and some neat pieces, minifig pieces, you name it. That'll do it for this review, one of several reviews on this channel, more to come, and of course, make sure you're subscribed so you're the first to know, and while you're at it, feel free to leave a like on this video and comment your thoughts on the set and how you plan to use it in your cities. From touristic city of Miami, this is Dr. Toga, out.